Hello and welcome to episode 60 of my Force of Nature tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on me getting level 10 and looking at what it unlocks, well at least some of what gets unlocked. Um, okay so if we go to characteristics and if we go to the button, click the button next level you will see that you need 15 amethyst chips and in previous episodes you've seen that I've been getting them and I went on a hunting trip to get the remainder of what I needed so let's get the level let's see how much health and stamina I get there we go lovely right okay now if we look at the encyclopedia it will show us what we've now got so at level 10 we've unlocked antidotes hmm interesting so maybe we're not going to need the herbal tea anymore a black knife which must be an upgrade oh yeah crafting speed look at that cool so that's going to be something I'm definitely going to want to make uh, a sh black shovel which means our shovels got upgraded bricks oh okay so it can be crafted in them I wonder what they're for probably some structure burning iron arrows now definitely I'm going to want to turn all the arrows I've got I've got 50 at the moment so I'm going to turn them all into burning iron arrows but that'll be another episode and that'll be a good one set powder I have no idea what that's for uh, millstone oh so that sounds cool uh, dissembled so I can now make the dissembled blue chests so that I'm going to use for armor um, just like Dragorin uh, is doing because uh, that was a really good idea ah, and the next upgrades of amulets so we'll be able to take a look at them in uh, a future episode there's more powder I'm not sure what the powders are for and here we go our first bit of alchemy a health potion very cool I hope that heals a lot because if it does then maybe that will make the apple pies redundant but we'll see ink I wonder if the ink is for our stamina although I doubt it because there's paper here so they're obviously going to be used together and a pen so yeah we can make powders for some reason I can now make burning iron arrows and poison iron arrows a Russell, ah look at that, there we go, stamina potion. So we're definitely going to have a look at the potions and some scales. So that's all the new items. Um, let's go into the buildings and see if we've got what we've got in constructions. In your sweet time. Right, so if we scroll down, let's look at what is new. Beautiful. There we go. An alchemy table. I've been wanting to look at the alchemy table. I know now that we can do the uh, health potions and stamina potions, so that is cool. A capacious barrel. Mm, we definitely have to have a look at the other barrel, the normal barrel and see what the difference is between the capacious so we'll do that in another episode there's the chests that I'm going to be making ah lamps I wonder how they are better than the pocket lamps can only be placed indoors so yeah that's not really an upgrade for my pocket lamps because they can only be used indoors oh and here we go our next house so we can there's what the bricks are for for a brick house so cool that's another episode as well right okay so whether I can build any additional I can't do any more flower beds that's a shame but I can do another well now so that's going to be something I'll be building another well and it looks like I can make now another crafting table I haven't done duplicates of them I really ought to um, could do another dugout if I want and another hovel oh and another apiary so oh and another seed bed very cool so that means I can get even more crops things are really starting to move now I do love force of nature with all of this new stuff now I'll be able to really start to progressing um, anyway right the time has not gone so on this precious last bit of time that we have available let's see how much closer we can get to 
um, the next shard. Um, first of all, let's have a quick look in actual fact what quests we've got now. So, make an alchemy table, which we're going to do. Home sweet home must be a brick house. Get the next piece of the force of nature and then get to level 11. So, what do we need for level 11? Let's have a look. Ruby chips. So, I'm guessing that that's what's going to be dropping off of the next lot of creatures. So let's see if we can go find what we've got to attack next. If I check the map to see which portal it is I need to go to. So Alpha Centauri and we're progressing across to there. So let's go do it. And hopefully I'm not going to die again. Although in all probability I most likely am. But that's part of the fun of a game. If it was too easy, then it wouldn't be perhaps that enjoyable. So, I'm going to need to cut my way across here, I think. Let's get me axe and start chopping. Oh, don't tell me it's getting night time just now because I've decided to go out. Oh well, let's see if we got, yep, good, I've got some lamps. Let's put down some light on the subject. I'm going to need to chop my way ahead before I can place more lamps. And let's chop the trees because they leave logs for markers. Now I need to be very careful because the level of the creatures now could jump so I need to watch my health, my stamina for if I go into a new biome make sure they don't start getting drained but more importantly I need to keep a watch on the level of the creatures and be careful that I don't run into something really nasty so I want to keep trying to get narrow gaps to walk through although I'm going a bit no, this way is good. Yeah, so I can carry on. Hmm, that's a shame. I'm going to have to make a big gap here. No choice. Drink some coffee. And let's do this tree in the middle. Or would I be better off doing this tree? I think I'd be better off doing this because then I can have a small gap between the mother two trees. And this one. Make some more coffee. Yep, yeah, things are going to start getting nasty, I think, with the level of the creatures. Dying will be much more frequent for me. Not to be pessimistic or anything, just a realist. Oh, I still can't get through. Some more ores. Okay, now I could actually cut away around them. And I wonder if that would be the best idea just in case I do get attacked by something rather nasty because that's then giving me a small gap yeah there we go right let's have a look now I need to put a lamp down so I remember my way back and also a little light always helps okay and let's carry on Tread carefully. Better equip my weapon. Oh, Scorpion, right. Let's see if I can get a few shots in with the bow. Ah, oh, damn it, he hit me. I was trying to do it so I could uh, perhaps get not poisoned, would have been good. Okay, level 13, and he dropped a stinger. 
Let's drink a tea. Let's start quaffing down them rustles. And why is my stamina draining? Ah, oh, right, okay. Stamina is heat. So, that means now I'm going to need to do the next set of uh, upgraded Bedouin armour before I can progress any more in that direction. Um, so, let's go a little way around it. Let's cut... Oops, let's switch from the axe. So now I know what I need. I need to make the next set of Bedouin armour. These pretty trees. Drink some coffee. Oh, wait a minute. No, I can't go in that direction. My stamina's being drained. So, it looks like I will have to do that Bedouin armour. In the meantime, let's backtrack a little and do some hunting where I can hunt until I've made some new armour. They do half travel quickly, them Grim Reapers. Let's go say hello to the Grim Reaper. I think I can get to him, can't I, from around there? Let's go make his acquaintance. all these trees blocking my view, that's the only thing. You'd have thought I'd get a ro ruby chip from this Grim Reaper, looking at the colour of him. He looks reddish. No, can't get to him yet, but I certainly will after this tree. He'll no doubt come rushing at me. Yep, yeah, come on then, let's tango. Cool, he does it fast. you drop mm, some more ash which is very good for the portals so I'm always happy to get ash I shall keep munching some rush souls I need to keep my eyes out for the roses which I've not been doing much um, I wonder what this gives us nothing oh well Oh wow, there's a big forest to cut through here. But there is some more enemies there, so let's go take a look. Now it's going to go and get dark on me. 
Oh, but there's the timer. Okay, let's put some light on the subject. I can't end the episode in complete darkness now, can I? So let's put a torch there. And oh, so that's the direction I ought to be going in, because I can see an enemy over there. Wow, he got to me quick. Um, but level 11. So not too much of a concern. Did you really not give me anything? No? Okay, well, I'll end it there. It is night time now, so that's a good reason. Plus the time has gone. Uh, so I've made it to level 10. In the next episode, I'm going to make a new set of Bedouin armour. That's what the next episode will be on. And then I can, t can continue my progress hopefully in this direction um, but I might do some more <clears throat> well we'll see how I get on I'll make the Bedouin arm and we can come and test it wherever you are in the world God bless you and keep every last one of you safe thank you for watching and have a fantastic day goodbye